So, a little little drama uh, there. Um, let's see, what, what was I doing here? I got distracted. Um, thanks for coming. My name's Ken. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do this on a monthly basis, so thanks for coming. And if you're out there in the ether watching us live, thank you also. Um, our organization is called Destiny City Music Collective. We uh, promote education and performances around the area, and this is one of them. I'll get to the asking you for money part after I play a little. <laughs> um, I usually have some kind of theme musically, but um, today I don't really have a theme except uh, music I like to play. So I'm going I'm to play a couple pieces to start with, um, some medieval music. The first one's called Lamento di Tristano. The second one is the one that I, uh, I transcribed this ancient song called Stella Splendens. It's for two voices originally. The words are um, Stella Splendens something, something, something.
So, you know, one, one thing that we really want to do with our events is have them free, so accessible. I think that's important uh, for arts, any kind of arts event. Um, however, you're welcome to make a donation in our little fishbowl over there. We appreciate it greatly. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to play a couple of songs, a couple of pieces by um, a Brazilian composer by the name of Via Lobos. Um, he, he grew up playing in like Brazilian street bands and stuff like that. Um, then he went to Paris and hobnobbed with all the avant-garde and he came back and wrote a, a bunch of really interesting music where you can really hear the uh, Brazilian part of it uh, and, and a little bit of the avant-garde part too. So these are, these are two of his preludes.
Um, let's see, I'm going to get uh, Noah up here in, in just a minute, but I think first I'm going to play this uh, tune. It's uh, there's a Japanese, well-known Japanese folk song. It's called Sakura, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's, um, I think it uh, refers to the cherry blossoms. This is a piece that is variations on that. Thank you. 
This is my student, a student, cello student of mine, Noah Montgomery. Uh, he, well, actually, well, it's probably the last time I'm going to be introducing him as my student because he's going to be going to PLU, right? Um, in the fall. Yeah. So we're playing with the orchestra there. Um, we're going to play a piece by a Spanish composer by the name of Enrique Granados. It's called Spanish Dance. It's, uh, well, it's, it's Spanish Dance number five. It's called Andaluza. Um, let me find my other page here. Oops. That's not it.
first set. Um, I'm going to do a few arrangements of some Irish, traditional Irish music. First one's called Shebog Shebor, which I, I don't remember what it means.
thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming again. Um, uh, and thanks for watching online. Um, you could also donate to us digitally if you wanted to up there. I don't know who I'm looking at. Um, uh, we have PayPal. Always love the donations. That keeps all, all programs happening. Uh, but we got a lot of stuff. Um, starting a after school program up again. FGA knows well. Um, uh, what else? What else? Do I have anything else? A uh, bunch of stuff, but yeah, education. Um, and and uh, yes. Uh, any billionaires out there? <laughs> Give me. If somebody gives me a couple million, I'll shut up. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, well, I, we were in um, Sheridan and Fawcett last year. Uh, this this one I had a uh, really gray, gray middle school. Gray middle school. Yep. We're doing a music music instruments from around the world thing. Um, so I got two more two more things happening here. I'm play a couple. Of, um, Brazilian, uh, not Brazilian, Venezuelan, Venezuelan, Venezuelan composer um, Antonio Lauro. Uh, one of them is just sort of a prelude kind of piece. One of them is a Venezuelan waltz, um, which you may be wondering, what's a Venezuelan waltz? Um, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, let's see, uh, A lot of people play this, this piece way too fast because um, you mean you just have a seizure if you were trying to dance to it. It's a waltz. Come on, people. Um, anyways.
Thanks. Um, we have a mailing list back there too, as well. Um, feel free to sign up for it so you'll know about upcoming events. Um, so this last piece I'm going to play is one of my favorite guitar pieces ever. I always have to play it last because I'm so exhausted by the end that I really can't. I just can't play anything else. So, so this is it. Um, it's by. Uh, it's called Coyun Baba. It's uh, by an Italian composer named Carlo Domeniconi who. He taught at the conservatory in Istanbul, and his music is really influenced by Turkish folk music, as uh, you'll probably hear in this piece. I also had to bring my other guitar because it's got a really weird tuning, so it puts my guitar out of tune for days later.
Thanks. Thanks to Noah Montgomery, Charlo. Thank, thanks, thanks for coming out. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, and we really appreciate the support. And hopefully, uh, well, we will. We will be doing this again. We're going to try, try this out monthly. So maybe next week, uh, next month, we'll have a packed house after everyone goes home and tells everyone to come see us. Um, we'll have some, uh, hopefully, we'll have some different performers also, and indeed, um, next month, too. So um, join our mailing list. And um, thanks again. Have a good afternoon. I ended exactly when, when I thought I would. I, that's like one minute. One minute. Yes, yes thank you. Yes. Um, I do have good timing. I'll say that for myself. Um, but anyways, thanks again. Have a good afternoon.